Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to uh, Millennial Farms. We are working in the big field too after we cut the soybeans off it. And we are just doing a bit of tillage on here, getting it prepped for a new planting season. As you can see over there, our biggest field, field 3, is almost ready to go. If we just jump to the map, you can see there's just an element around the edge there. It's in the final growing stage, so we're just going to wait for that to uh, finish growing before we dive in there. We're going to do not going to do that too early. Um, well, <laughs> what a what a week it's been on the channel. Uh, we we made Giants partner. Uh, we went over 1,500 subscribers, so thank you to every single one of you who has subbed to the channel. I'm so delighted you're enjoying the content. I have to say I am having a blast pulling it together at the moment. And uh, clearly the American stuff's working. Uh, if you've not seen the poll on my new community tab on the on the channel, uh, I put a little poll up there to see what you guys would want to see more of. And I've got to say, the American maps are winning. So um, you'll likely see a bit more Flint Hills. I think people are desperate to see more Flint Hills. Uh, Millennial Farmer. Uh, some Farmersburg, and I have some other maps up my sleeve as well, which I've not even had a chance to look at yet. Um, the server is virtually ready to go, so um, one of the things I'm keen to do over the next few weeks is get a Discord server set up, get the multiplayer server set up, and uh, hopefully then I'll give some of you guys the opportunity to play with me. So, in the meantime, we will sit here with uh, the eight... Our X, let him do a couple more rows of this, uh, and then we'll go for a little wander around the farm. Hopefully that corn will be ready to go very, very soon, and we can get cracking and start getting that under. If not, there's a little bit of mowing we can do with the batwing mower, which will keep us busy in the meantime. Okay, so that's us back in the yard. Um, we are going to, very quickly, just pop over here and check that this corn hasn't tipped into its next growth stage and if it hasn't we uh, will go and cut the grass on field one no as you can see it's just not quite there yet the other corn is ripe and ready to go but we've got one more growth state on this that needs to go so we will in the interim while the 8rx is running on field two we will have a little bit of a tidy up of the grass on field one just outside the house. So we'll jump in the 8R with the batwing mower on and we'll go and tidy that up. Okay, we've uh, done about half of it there. We're going to leave it here for now because I've just just realised that if we're going to start cutting this cornfield, there is still a lot of soybeans in the silos that we probably need to get rid of just so we've got a bit of space for the corn. So what I'll do, um, just for now, we'll park this up. We've made good progress there. Really, we were just tidying things up there. I have no need for hay or grass, so we would probably just sell that to a local farmer uh, for him to use. 
but it was it was a job that we needed to do just the grass was getting a bit long there now if i go and look in my grain bins we are still rocking um quite a lot of soybeans 5600 bushels in there so i think what we need to do probably from the purpose of uh making sure that we don't run out of space in the silos when field three is ready to go we should probably load up and ship out some of those soybeans so let's get this under the auger and we will get it loaded up unload dry silo that's the one now if I jump in here start filling soybeans and we're off now I have edited this mod actually this week so uh, these trailers now hold a hundred thousand liters sorry I don't know what that is in bushels but um, I did want to use hopper bottom trailers and uh, I felt 60,000 liters wasn't enough especially I found on Flint Hills and especially here um, putting a little bit more in the trailers uh, just helped uh, with unloading keeping on top of the harvest when the combines were going around the field because they go really quick it was less of an issue with the soybeans but I know how um sorry we cut out there with the uh, 15 percent left so we'll just load the last of the soybeans in. yes as I was saying um it was less of an issue when we were combining soybeans because the yield isn't as high but I know from working on the large field nine on Flint Hills we really struggle to keep up with the combine with two combines running so um, this extra capacity in these trailers hopefully will help us a lot but in the meantime we will pop this on a little time lapse and we'll head over to the sell point and hopefully make a bit of money. I've just realised we've only got 28,000 left in the bank, so now is an ideal time to get rid of some of these crops, bolster the coffers ahead of the corn coming in. So we'll be back shortly. tell you those roadworks are going to run for forever um, obviously having adjusted the XML in here and bumping the weight up I really noticed the difference actually in the handling it does not accelerate particularly quickly and it's a bit of a dog on the corners but uh, I mean we are fully 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 laden so uh, I understand that it's a little bit more difficult to to drive um, but no issues don't think the handling's so bad um, but we're here already let's get this unloaded and let's see what sort of money we're going to make switch to the right hopper and we'll unload that and uh, as we can see the money ticking up already from 28 to 50 blimey this is going to be a big income Well, there we go, 112,000 out of one truck. That is a rather nice little income. Rather nice indeed. Right, let's run this back to the yard. Um, we'll try and sneak another load in, potentially, um, before we carry on with the mowing. But we'll see you back at the farm. Here we are back at the yard. Um, We'll get this under the hopper, ready to unload again, and uh, then we'll just check and see how the 8RX is doing. And when we drove past, he looked like he was doing pretty well, nearly finishes up and down rows. And then I've got a decision to make whether or not I put anhydrous on that field. We did have soybeans in it last time, so it makes sense to rotate the crops if we can. Let's just leave that there, ready for a load up. Yes, it makes sense to rotate the crops. We had soybeans in here last time, so uh, I think we'll put corn in here next time. 
So what we'll probably need to do is look at how we do that. We've got a couple of options. We could drop anhydrous into the ground or we can just fertilize when we when we seed it. Um, my, my gut tells me it would be nice to put some anhydrous in here for a change. So we'll look at that. Uh, and then we will get it planted. But he's making short work of this. This tractor's phenomenal. This whole setup here is just really, really good. Um, just eats through eats through the acres very, very quickly. So he looks like he's doing well. We'll leave him to it again. And we will run another truckload down to the cell point and get those silos empty. Okay, we filled the front trailer up. Uh, I think there's only a small amount left to go in the back trailer here. So hopefully we are... we'll be able to get everything into this truck. Now, is that everything? Is that everything? Let's just check. We have 46 bushels left. It cut out again. Right. Let's grab those final few bushels. And I do believe we have got... Is that everything? That is everything. Our silos are empty. Ready to receive our corn. Let's run this down to the cell point. We'll put some good money in for this. And we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're unloading both hoppers at the same time this time which should speed things up a little bit and we will see how much we will get for just under a full load ok, 108,000 that is rather good isn't it which has just pushed us over 250 in the bank which is not bad when we started with 28 so a lucrative return from our soybean harvest earlier in the year now let's hope we'll get something similar like that from the corn Right, middle of the afternoon, we'll uh, run the truck back, get him parked up, and see what's what back at the yard. And we just come back up to the to the yard, and the 8RX is just doing his thing there. I do believe that's him just starting his headers, his headlands. So he's going to be finished very, very soon. Absolutely, he'll be finished before the end of the day, which is great news. That frees up a tractor, potentially, for running the grain cart tomorrow. Obviously, we've got the 8R here. And there's a 9R and there's a 9RT kicking about as well, so we aren't sure of tractors. But uh, the 8RX is a rather nice tractor for pulling the grain cart when we need it. The corn looking over there still isn't ready. I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be ready today or not. So we will bide our time. We'll jump back and finish that grass field. Just for something to do. And then fingers crossed. Come tomorrow morning. Things will be ready to cut. And we can go harvesting in the big field. Which is going to take a little bit of time. Right, back to it.
There we go, that's a job well done. I have noticed though that our rate RX is um, slipping and I can't think why because there's not really a lot to hit especially when you're doing the headland so I am just going to uh, quickly park this out of harm's way right, let me just pop it down here and we will go and find out what the problem is slightly concerned he should only be doing headlands so Hopefully he's not got himself too uh, snarled up on something. So close to the finish as well. He's fine there. That uh, that mower is fantastic. It's the first time I've used that. It's been sitting in my mods for ages and I haven't used it. Oh my goodness, he's properly got himself stuck in the trees. Let's uh, work out what's gone wrong there. I have no clue what he has managed to do. He literally should be doing his headlands now. Okay, well, hopefully... Let's set him back on his uh, track. I may have missed a bit there. I tied it up at the end, but he literally looks like he's got two passes left of the field, so we shall let him crack on with that. And hopefully, he'll be done very shortly. And there we have it. We have finished field two. Now, I am going to just tidy up some of these loose ends. There's a few little bits and pieces there that I'll just run over. Of course, please missed a few spots, a few small spots, but nothing drastic. So, while I do that, uh, I will also take this opportunity to say thank you very much for watching. We'll call it there for the end of this episode. Um, it's the calm before the storm, definitely. Uh, we've had a good episode of just getting things tidied up. We've got the bins cleared. We've got that grass cut at the front, which we can plow under. We've got field two tilled and ready for planting again. So hopefully in the morning when the uh, sun rises, the combine and the corn will be ready to go. So until then, from me, the farm sim guy, thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for your support over the last few weeks. And uh, I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.